here with our own ESPN NBA Lakers reporter Dave McMenamin. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Dave, take a look at the first 10 games of the Lakers schedule. It's very interesting because you've got the Clippers, the Warriors, the Jazz, the Wolves, the Cavs. You see the list. So why is this 10-game stretch so important, especially starting the new Darvin Ham era? Well, Shay, think back a couple years ago they brought in Frank Vogel. The first time they had Anthony Davis playing alongside LeBron James, all of the noise got quiet after that first stretch of the season because they came out of the gate strong. And this will be not as easy of a task, I think, for Darvin Ham here because these are formidable teams and you're starting on the road against the defending champs. Then you go back to play the Clippers who have a lot to prove this year, perhaps prohibitive favorites in the Western Conference. That could be an 0-2 start, and mm -hmm. then it can start sm snowballing from there. So this is going to be a, a big challenge for Darvin Ham and the Lakers. But at least they'll start, hopefully, with the intention of winning games early, and so it's not like we have this big old season that we have to load manage our way through. Right. But we did start this NBA schedule release show with the breaking news about LeBron James. So what was your reaction to the extension? Well, certainly it was what was anticipated. Uh, he has, even though you know it's been up and down in the four years in L.A. so far, they did get the championship. He enjoys his life out here. They're there's been a partnership overall between him and the Lakers organization. And so now this will get us in through 21 seasons at least, possibly 22 and beyond. And you know, I think you're going to continue to see LeBron James set the standard for what a prime can be as an NBA player. It, it, it really started, what, the standard. <laughs> started like year three and it's going on to two decades now and it's only going to continue. Yeah, and, and one of the biggest, if not the biggest storyline of the season, the same way we got excited with Steph and the all-time threes record, is LeBron James and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar becoming the all-time number one leading scorer in the NBA. Now, have you looked? I don't know if you've had time to look at the schedule. I analyzed it a little bit. Okay, do you, do, where do you estimate LeBron James really making a push? I heard it's somewhere around all-star break if he averages 25 points per game. Yeah, so you say 25 points per game, which is about his career average and what he's been doing over the last several seasons. And then you have to bake in some time anticipating either rest or, you know, the occasional tweaked ankle or whatever. So it would take about 53 games at 25 points per game. But you're going to say, let's say he misses 10% of the games, right? Then so you're looking at like 58 to 63 games on the schedule. And so these are the games you're going to look at. And like at Celtics, man, he would love to do it there in New York or at the Madden Square Garden. What a stage. Uh, but also it's special to do it against uh, at home. And maybe he can do it at home against Giannis Antetokounmpo or against his longtime foe in the finals, Steph Curry on the road. So there's, I think that's the stretch you're going to look at. Which and all of them want? are excited. You know, I, I wouldn't mind if it goes a little bit lo longer and he go, does it against Luka Ooh. and the Mavericks on ESPN, right? That's yeah, a good one. that so. would be great. And there's a lot of comparisons between LeBron James and Luka Doncic, so I think that would be fun, especially a lot of people saying Luka could be an MVP this Absolutely. season, so yeah. that would be fun. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.